بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so now in this in this video we'll try to see uh, what if you have some kind of old topologies in your machine or let's say you have formatted your device and you reinstalled the gns3 or maybe you have moved your topologies or let's say even if i share some of the topologies with you then probably there are few settings which will not work uh, maybe the images issue or maybe some other issues so probably you can make some changes to make them work so here in my case let's say let's take an example i have recently uh, moved to a different laptop or let's say you have formatted and reinstalled the gns3 then in that scenarios let's say if you try to open up any of the topologies let's say i'll go back and try to open up my old topologies which was there in my previous uh, laptop which which i've been using so probably uh, let's go ahead and open up that topology here now this is the one which i which i was using uh, earlier classes so whenever you try to open up the, there will be some issues like either you the most common issue is the image settings now in case whenever the gns3 tries to load that particular topology and if that particular image is not uh, present or if that image is not set inside the gns3 this is how it looks now basically there are two options either you can upload the exact same image that is something you have to do so this is actual image which i need to uh, make sure that i add this one that's one of the thing i can do so which means if i go back to my topology here we need to go back and edit the preferences and inside the ios you need to make sure that you are using that particular image so if you try to see i i do have this 7000 series router image which is being added but if i go back and see the edit options now here you can see this shows as this is what it shows up so it's m5 s5 that is a slight difference in the image so the previous images whatever i have used i was using this image so basically one option is i can go ahead and change the image here so if you have this image already present in your machine let's say if i go and search for this particular image on my local machine if i can open up that will be good uh, to go with uh, let's say i'm going to search on this for this particular image so if you can uh, locate that particular image normally when you are doing that you will be having that image so basically you can whenever you are adding that image you can add this one like here you can see this is the actual image which i think this is the one let me quickly open up the folder and here you can see the image so either i can use this image this is the exact image which uh, was supposed to add so either i can add this image that is one option so what i'll do is i'll uh, rename now uh, you can just uh, rename this one or you can rename the path so basically you have to add the entire path so one option is you can uh, rename the image that is one option or you can rename the uh, rename uh, you can rename the file as well so the first thing what i'll do is i'll try to uh, make some changes so you can simply go ahead and edit and you can browse and select that image so what is the image here 15.2 for m5 this one so you can just say add this image so this is one option so we need to make sure that uh, we need to make sure that whenever you are trying to use that particular thing this is one option you can change this image now i can i can go ahead and try and opening up that particular topology now this one because whenever you are trying to open up the topology if that particular image doesn't exist then this is something you you will see now let me try to see again it shows s5 this time now maybe I'm, i might be using both the images here uh, maybe uh, I'm using some routers with both the images. That might be the reason it's it's not accepting the other one. So which means I need to add a new image with the second one. So what is the second image? That is S5. 
So you need to just, uh, you cannot use the same name because already we have that same name. So I'm changing the name a little bit. And then you can click on next and add some RAM. And then add some one interface cards, uh, 40 cards, and then click on finish, apply. And most likely, as you can see, the errors, it shows up. These are the images doesn't exist. And let me try to open up this time once again. Uh, if both the images are present, then probably I should be able to load my topology. Now, in case if there is any error, we'll also try to see that particular error. Again, it shows up the image uh, 15.24 S5 is missing here. Now, probably there is uh, one more way in case if this doesn't come up, you can go ahead and edit this file. You can uh, simply open another particular file and you can try replacing the particular images as per your topology. Like in this case, uh, if you try to see, if you search for this particular 7200 image, now this topology is having this M5 image. And this M5 image, I think that is the only image what what is present here. So if you see the topology here, so it, it's using the complete M5 images on all the fire routers. So I'm using fire routers here in my topology. I think all it's using M5, but I don't know why it says S5. Again, you can see there is one more router uh, which has the S5 image. So, uh, which means uh, basically whatever the topologies you are going to add, whatever the devices you are going to add, make sure that you are uh, using that particular image. That should be present. Now, one option what I can do is I can just go ahead and replace the image files. So, whatever the image I'm using here for my iOS router. So, this is the one which I'm using. So this is the one which I'm using for 7200 router. That's same. And let's say I don't want to use this one. I'll be using that only, this one only. So what I'll do is wherever there is a S5 image, I'm going to replace that with, with this particular image. So what is the image I'm, go I'm going to use here in my case? So this is the image. So which means I need to search for for the specific images and make sure that it is using the uh, using this one. So I can search with the exact. Now this is the exact uh, image it uses, but I also have the S5 image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that particular S5 image here. So if you see, this is the actual image, what is S5. So I can replace this image. I just copy this image, Control H, uh, where you're going to replace this S5 image with this image. So just you can say replace all. Uh, make sure that you save this topology again. Uh, make sure that whenever you're making changes, uh, you're not going to disturb any other things. Now, normally, uh, before GNSC, there was uh, command line options uh, where we generally build up the dynamic topology based on that. So now, again, there is one more issue. One more issue is, again, there is a 3600 image, which was also missing. So which means I need to add this image as well into my iOS. So you can see one, one by one, the, the problem are being solved. You can see because I have just replaced the S5 and M5 images to one image. And also I need to add this 3600 router. So in, in the case of IWAS, I need to add the a new image, which is going to be my 36. So this is the actual image I need to search for. And that exact image you need to search in your local drive and then copy it and just add that one. Add the WAN slots. So make sure that you're adding the WAN slots as per the older one, because if it is an older topology, you know which interface cards you are being using. According to that, you have to set the slots. 
because I know I'm using a uh, van slots here accordingly you need to set because if the slots are not present again the same uh, error may pop up so let me try to open up once again here the same topology this time now this this way you can uh, slightly uh, do the changes and hopefully you can see this is actually a totally different topology uh, but it's okay whatever the topology here because whenever you are trying to load a specific devices like if you try to see these uh, devices here router one two three four if i go and check these routers are specifically 7200 series routers and i think this one is also a 7200 series router but whereas if you see this routers uh, these are using 3600 routers i think these are uh, 36 one that's the reason it was asking that image so while i was loading uh, there was uh, some routers with 7200 with both the images so i have to replace with anyone because normally what happens uh, again if you know the exact name of that particular ios device while you set up uh, that's something you if you know if you don't know just uh, make make the both as a same image here now this way i can load up my previous topologies now this is a little bit important especially you need to know while you are moving uh, your your topologies from one device to another device or while you are trying to make some or just you install you reinstall a gns3 and whenever you reinstall a gns3 make sure that you are you are going to add those specific ios images now most of the time the problem what i face i have just shared here because every time I load up, I don't even know the exact image what I use because uh, I just pick randomly when I, while I was setting the topologies. But what I suggest is whatever the images you are going to use, you just keep them in a separate folder so that next time you don't need to search for the exact image what you are trying to use. Now let me quickly uh, try to start these devices and uh, see if I'm able to get the console or not something we'll see now you can see i'm able to start the devices and if i click on the console i should be able to load the console screen here now this is again the solar uh, putty the free tool which comes by default with the gns3 if you want you can even set to a different tool as well